Good morning, beautiful people. Happy May 4th. I'm sure in your feed you're seeing a whole lot of Star Wars references, so I'm not going to give you another. It is day three of definiteness of purpose. That means it's day 45 that we've been together on this journey thinking about thinking, understanding fear, finding joy out of the suffering. And if you've ever wondered how to defeat or control the negative voice in your head that brings you doubt and sadness and confusion, this is where it begins. These are the next few weeks where we're going to be really diving into that and I listened to a Super Soul Sunday online version uh, yesterday, last night. TJ, T, Day, Jakes, and Oprah, and that comment again was that fear is allowed to be in the car. It's just not allowed to have its hands on the steering wheel. That probably was the number one gift that I've received from some of those great thinkers over the years, is that fear has allowed us as a species to survive, and it has its place. It keeps us alive, but it doesn't need to control where we're going. And if you feel alone in your journey, you're not alone. So many people have gone before you that have all had those same negative emotions. And I even think about, you know, as we continue on with Napoleon Hill, if you have the chance to read Outwitting the Devil, I highly encourage it. It uh, was the light going on for me. Here was someone who had been given all of the tools but yet he still had to go through his own hero's journey. He had to go through his dark night of the soul. He had to lose relationships, lose businesses, be have an attempted murder uh, on him. So they were actually set out to try and kill him. And he was hiding for over a year in the depths of depression. And that is where at Winning the Devil came from. So way back in week one, I talked about the number one fears that control us, and that's poverty, criticism, ill health, loss of love, old age, and death. At all times in our life, we've all faced those fears, but there's good news, and that's to overcome any of those fears, you just have to switch your thinking into terms of faith and courage, hope, uh, definiteness of purpose. If you know what you want to achieve, if you focus on that, you will find the opportunity to move forward. And I know we've all faced that fear of criticism. And this is a big week for me because I've had a situation not that long ago where I faced judgment and assumptions from a particular organization and I'm stepping up to the plate again to go back to that organization to say, here I am. Your criticisms and your judgments didn't stop me. It didn't stop me from reaching my goals, to speak my opinions, and to be myself. Because I don't want to let my fears win. That's, that's as simple as it comes down to, is... In the daily affirmation that's attached to today, our shadow selves and ourselves, our darkness and our, our, our self, our body, we all have the same goals, and that's to find the light, to find the light in every situation. So I encourage you today to find a moment where you can see the light, to see the light in someone else, in something else and in yourself and let that light shine. Until tomorrow, I hope you're well and staying safe. I love you all and until tomorrow, be kind to yourself and to others.